Hi there, food tubers. My name's Gail. I'm head chef here at River Cottage HQ, and today I'm going to be showing you the most amazing rhubarb hoisin sauce. Fantastic with the last of the false rhubarb, but also great with the outdoor rhubarb, which is starting to pop through. It uh, always ends up being a glut crop, we always end up with piles of it around, and it's a great way to preserve it for a few months in your fridge. It's going to go amazingly well with your leftovers from Sunday lunch, or even just lovely fresh vegetables out the garden. Okay, so here we have the, uh, the forced rhubarb we're going to use today. You can tell it's forced because it's really lovely pink colour, almost a champagne pink there. Um, the outdoor rhubarb tends to be a lot redder, although you get a better flavour with the outdoor rhubarb. This will, recipe will work perfectly with both. And we tend to use the outdoor rhubarb because we tend to have a lot of it all in one go and we want to preserve it on for the rest of the year. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get it down, roughly chop it. No finesse needed here. We're literally just breaking it down inside so it cooks quickly. But now that's chopped, that can go straight into the pan. So now it's to add all those beautiful flavours you'd normally associate with oriental food. So to start off, we have a little cinnamon, really aromatic spice. And we're going to add just a little crack of that. And then just pop it in in a reasonably large piece so we can find it later on. Next up, star anise. Going to add a beautiful aniseedy flavour. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, aroma in these little pods. Again, we need to leave these whole because we need to find them later on. If you blend them into the final product, it's going to be quite bitter. Next, a piece of dried chilli. That's going to go in whole. Chinese five spice to give it that authentic oriental flavour. So we're just going to add a couple of pinches. So now we need to get some liquid in this, so we're going to start adding some lovely organic soy sauce. Next up, English apple balsamic vinegar to add a touch of acidity. Red wine to add a depth of flavour and fruitiness. And last but not least, some lovely muscovado sugar. We all know rhubarb has a little edge to it, we just need to smooth that out, and this is going to do that perfectly. Right, next we need to get this on the stove, boiling away. This is going to bubble up nicely and start to thicken and reduce down. Quick stir together to mix all those ingredients in, and we're going to start boiling this down and it should take between 15 and 20 minutes. Okay, so now it's done. We can see the rhubarb's all broken down and we've got this lovely jam-like consistency to it. We've got to dig around and find those star anise and little bits of twiggy cinnamon that we put in there earlier. Really worthwhile doing this so you don't end up with loads of little hard shards of those spices left in your hoisin sauce. So now we need to blend this into a smooth paste. I'm going to use a hand stick blend today. <laughs> It's ready to use. Okay, so here I've got frying some crispy pig's head, some beautiful spring greens, and the first of the year spring onions, ready to get this rhubarb poison involved. Okay, so we're ready to eat. Absolutely stunning. The rhubarb flavour is still at the fore with those oriental spices, letting the green vegetables talk for themselves as well as that crispy pork still coming right through. I hope you enjoyed that recipe. If you did, click the thumbs up and leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the River Cottage YouTube channel and I hope to see you again.